Hey guys, Tech Experts here, and today's tutorial is going to be on how to add optical flares to a YouTube background. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your uh, template, which mine is right here. I'm going to let that open up. Okay. Then we're going to go to the background, and then we're going to add a simple little gradient make it radial and we're going to do a kind of red okay and a darker red just like that okay did wrong. Alright, so go back and add the gradient. Radial. Red. Dark red. Okay. Reverse, and then we're going to raise that up right there. Okay, so now to add an optical flare, you're going to create a new layer. Uh, you don't need to create a new layer, never mind. Don't do that. You're going to go to and open up your, your, uh, the folder with all the, uh, optical flares and stuff. And flares. And then you're going to find one that best matches your background. So, let's try and find a red one. This is going to be good. Okay, so you have this. And you want to unlock it. So. Then you're going to bring it over. I like to put it on top of the modules first. Just so I can uh, see it better. put that right there. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to get your eraser tool. You're going to set it to the fuzzy one that looks like that. And you're going to set the hard hardness all the way down to zero. So you're not getting rid of any major detail. You're just kind of getting uh, rid of the black and the stuff you don't want. Okay, next thing you're going to do is you're going to set the layer options to screen, well, not color dodge, but screen, and then you're going to move it to wherever you want. I'm going to go to transform, actually no, I'm going to go to transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise, apply the transformation, and then you can set it like that. Or if you want to, you can just do transform clockwise again, and you can set it right there, but you're going to put it underneath all of the layers. But see, it really won't do any good there since that's white. You're going to edit, transform, 90 degrees, and you can just put it right there, or you can put it anywhere you want. I usually put mine on the sides. And yeah, that's how to add an optical flare to your YouTube backgrounds or any art at all. This has been Tech Experts with a basic Photoshop tutorial.